Hey, welcome to Classic Performance. We got a great barn find for you today. Uh, it is a cold, chilly, kind of sleety, drizzly day, uh, but we got a lead on a farm that has several barns uh, with old cars in them. Uh, and this particular car from 1969 has been here uh, since about 1985, so th 35 or 36 years ago, this car was driven in here and parked. So we're gonna get into the barn. I just got a key uh, to get in here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and get in this barn and take a look uh, at, uh, at what we've got inside. And then... And this is indeed a barn with a with a barn door. Uh, you know, this has kind of been repopularized now in, the, uh, in, in modern culture, but this is an original barn door. And... Uh, <coughs> Oh, and there it is. Uh, this is a 1969 NGB GT. Uh, GT being the hardtop. And this car was last licensed in what looks like uh, 19, 1986. So it's uh, this is actually green. This is uh, British racing green. And uh, you just look at the, the gunk and everything on the sides of it. Uh, it has obviously been here a long time. You got some animal prints where animals have have crawled on it. Uh, and this is a uh, this is a wire wheel car, uh, which is nice, and it's got the uh, the eared knockoffs on it. And uh, we'll take a quick walk around and then look in the interior and look under the the hood of it. Um, but it appears to be in pretty nice shape. And even looking down here, not. Not a whole lot of rust. I know it kind of looks blue in the light, but uh, let's uh, let's take a look on the inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get inside here. And uh, here it goes right up and dried up. Uh, it actually, yeah, if you can shine that light in there a little bit. It actually looks looks pretty good on the inside. Uh, it's got a a console in there. Uh, matter of fact, if I'm with the clock in it, if I remember correctly that was a like one of those aftermarket consoles um let's check the let's check the mileage dashboard dashboard looks great in it it's got floor mats uh the correct uh actually the correct mg floor mats uh here's some of your switch gear right here uh the gauges look good it looks like it's got uh right at uh, 90,000 miles on it. So very, very complete. And there's that, that console I was telling you about, uh, which is, you don't often see in MGBs. Uh, I think, like I said, I think that's an aftermarket console. So, got some uh, paperwork here. Let me get it out and I'll bring it outside. So we've got some, uh, we got some valuable papers here. And of course we know they're valuable because it says so right on here, MGB. Uh, maybe title it says and this is from the the trust company bank of southeast georgia and of course the car has as you've seen the uh, georgia license plate on it uh this is just outside of atlanta georgia and we've got some valuable papers here just one of them i can see has a notary on it uh, which is uh actually uh from the 80s gloria up here uh sold this car to leslie in marietta uh marietta georgia and over here we've got what is this uh, we have actually we've got the uh <clears throat> the original this, this is the original window sticker uh you can see where the glue was where this was affixed to the to the window and uh, economy cars limited a british leyland motoring incorporated continental cars uh, distributors incorporated uh, and this car sold in 1969 for Thirty-four hundred and sixty-five dollars. It looks like uh, the two options it had: uh, the fifty-dollar uh, heated rear window, and I guess it would have the lines through it. Uh, special sixty-eight tires for twenty-five dollars, and a sh shipping surcharge of only five dollars. But here it is: uh, MGB GT Coupe in green. Uh, so that's it. Nice, nice find there to have the. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, original window sticker uh, on the car. 
So we've seen the interior, we've kind of seen the outside a little bit. It's so dark in there. Uh, we do need to look under, under the hood. That is an exciting place. Uh, and while we're in the back here, we'll pop the, uh, we'll pop the hatch and uh, let's just see what's in the back of the car too. So this thing, well, maybe not. Well, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna open. Well, let's, nope not today so let's uh let's move around the front and look under the hood uh -huh. so i'm looking underneath here and i see the little round knob that says b on it and that's for that's for bonnet and uh shit, that's, that's stuck too <clears throat> yeah, damn we're not having too good luck god what hey push down on the front a little bit maybe that'll Nope. Ah, the cable's rusted. Yeah, looking under here, there's a uh, a knob. This is B for bonnet. And I got a pair of pliers on it. I tried a little bit earlier, and it didn't want to go anywhere. So I'll put a pair of channel locks on it. <clears throat> ah, there she goes. All right, success. Yeah, so we can take a look at the. Take a look at the business end of the, the MGB here. Uh, I apologize for the light. I should have had a better flashlight. And, uh, wow, there it is. Oh, that is incredibly uh, complete if you look at it. So we have got uh, uh, the uh, fan. There's a fan there. And, I don't know, I usually call that like National School Bus Yellow, but all MGs uh, going back for years uh, had yellow yellow fans for, uh, for caution. Uh, so this has the yellow fan uh, alternator. They switched to alternators uh, after the MGAs. And uh, yeah, the, the motor and everything in here is really in amazing condition. Uh, twin SU carburetors, uh, they look fantastic. Our reservoirs. Uh, let me get you to hold that light right here. See what we got in these in these reservoirs. This is our brake our brake reservoir, which uh, actually it still has uh, it still has fluid in it, so that hasn't leaked out uh, from bad seals. And this is our this is our clutch reservoir. Take a look in here. If you can get that light right on top of this thing. Um, it's still, that's still full too. Now you can see that clutch reservoir. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is, it is full of fluid uh, as well. So this, uh, this, this MGB is amazingly complete. Uh, I think what the plan is, uh, I don't have a set of keys for it, but uh, it looks like it needs some air in the tires and some different things. Uh, I think we're gonna try to uh, get a battery in it. Uh, maybe try to just jump it off and see if we can get it running in here. So uh, that's a quick look at the, uh, the MGB barn find. And if you like classic cars, trucks, boats, airplanes, and barn finds like this MGB GT, subscribe to the channel, because we're gonna come back and we're gonna get this uh, out of the barn and try to get it running. So uh, that'll do it. Take care and have a great day.